It is a big day for Idaho. Today, the U.S. Navy uh, welcomed its newest Virginia class attack submarine and guess who she's named after Idaho. The keel laying ceremony for the USS Idaho took place today in Groton, Connecticut. Think of a keel laying as like a groundbreaking for ships. It's a formal recognition of the start of a ship's construction. A keel is the backbone of a ship, the very bottom, and ships are built from the keel up. Obviously, submarines don't have a keel, but it is a time honored tradition for the U.S. Navy, and that is just part of the keel laying ceremony today from Connecticut. You know, it was former Navy Secretary Ray Mabus who was the one who decided to name the submarine after Idaho. He did that in 2015, and he said one of the reasons he chose Idaho is because of our strong connection to the Navy, even though we're a long way away from the ocean. But the last time a ship was commissioned as the USS Idaho was over 100 years ago. Commissioned on March 24, 1919, the USS Idaho was at the time the largest battleship afloat. Crews began constructing her during the First World War at a shipyard in New Jersey under a veil of secrecy in a covered shed, precautions taken due to the war. But it was her service during World War II that would earn her seven battle stars. Uh, the USS Idaho played a very key role in World War II. I uh, was at the Battle of Iwo Jima and, uh, and provided uh, fire support and was part of the success of, uh, of the Battle of Iwo Jima. Here's the USS Idaho in late February 1945 with all of her guns trained on Iwo Jima. And later in April of 45, another view of USS Idaho as she takes up her assigned bombardment station off of Okinawa, also providing major fire support for that invasion. And then a moment of historic jubilation, Idaho's crew in Tokyo Bay celebrating the signing of their surrender of Japan, handwritten at the bottom of this photograph, listening to the band on the fantail. And on the back of the picture, this is the night that we received the news that the war had ended. The USS Idaho was decommissioned on July 3rd, 1946. Unfortunately, there has not been a ship named Idaho since then, which is, uh, uh, it's kind of sad in some way because Idaho has such a rich Navy tradition. But now there is a fifth naval vessel to bear our state's name. It is the most state of the art and uh, and will continue to be upgraded as uh, you know as it uh, goes through its lifetime. An attack submarine with a history rooted deep in Idaho, beginning with Camp Farragut on Lake Ponderé, once the second largest of seven Navy boot camps in World War II. Today, it provides the U.S. Navy with an ideal environment for acoustic testing of submarines. After the war, uh, the camp was decommissioned, but the Navy kept a small part of it. And uh, that is Acoustic Research Detachment Bayview, which does acoustic research for submarines. And so um, much of the acoustic technology that will be a part of the USS Idaho came from Lake Pend Oreille and, uh, and uh, ARD Bayview. Richard Colburn, chairman of the USS Idaho Commissioning Committee, explains another Idaho tie to the new USS Idaho. So much of the original nuclear technology that went into submarines came from Idaho. And then after World War II, the Navy wanted to get into nuclear research and power. And so Admiral Rickover built the first submarine prototype reactor, S1W, at what is now the Idaho National Lab, but was then the ARCO Proving Ground. We may have had to wait 101 years, but finally, we get to put the great state of Idaho's name back in the fleet, thanks in part to our long history with the Navy. And so the submarine Idaho has, you know, the nuclear technology that came from Idaho, the acoustic technology that came from Idaho. So, so it, is, it is just truly an Idaho ship. The USS Idaho, truly Idaho. By the way, she is expected to be commissioned sometime between the fall of 2022 and the summer of 2023. There are already 25 crew members working for the USS Idaho at the submarine base in Connecticut, and there are three of them are from Idaho. How about that? Once completed, the $2.6 billion submarine will have a total crew of 120 enlisted and 14 officers.